Hey, Wolf Packers from the Wolf, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. So last time we kind of uh, killed Keeper Marthari. Yeah, she uh, apparently decided to take Demon into her to prevent Meryl from doing something dumb by doing something dumb. Um, it didn't work out with her very well because we had to kill her to prevent the Demon from getting loose. So yeah. Marathar is dead, and now we have to go tell the, the um, Meryl's clan what happened. And let me tell you, that does not go well, a good bit of the time. Because every option is either you kill the clan, that, usually that happens a lot. In my playthroughs, anyway. Um, anyway, we're going to go out, and the clan's going to kind of just jump out at us, so let's try not to get them killed. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper. She. Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper! Can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster. Okay, guys. So, I wanted to make sure just before I did it, and I looked it up. Um, they attack you if you pick this one or stand down. The only way to get them not to kill you is to say, I'll take responsibility. It'll give you plus 15 rivalry points of Meryl, but you can get those back afterwards. Um, you, know, you also may, if you haven't done a murder of crows, which is the quest I did where you find Zevran and help him. You have to choose, I'll take responsibility, or you won't be able to do that mission either. So, I am telling you guys now, if you're doing this, if you're watching this, and you haven't done a murder of crows, and you want to do it, make sure you press, I'll take responsibility. The Datish will not attack you, and you won't kill all of them to where it will make a murder of crows unac um, unaccessible. I'm gonna choose I'll take responsibility. I have done a murder of crows, but I don't want to kill a Datish, so I'm gonna say I'll take responsibility. This was a tragedy. I promise you I'll make sure no one else is hurt by Meryl's blood magic. You expect us to take the word of a Shamlin? Stand down, Anaria. She was our first once. The keeper loved her. More than she loved the clan, it seems. Feneral, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. If I could have saved her, if I could have died instead, I would have. Words are cheap. That you're still breathing says enough. Enough, Anaria. Human, take Meryl away from here. Yeah, I see. Yeah, gives you every points, but you don't have to kill the Datish, so. Benefits. Benefits. And personally, I don't want to kill any more no data shells. I mean, that, that's just more tragedy. All right, I am going to um, try it down. What the hell? All right, I am going to go down and um, be kind of done with this. I will see you guys when we get back to Meryl's place. So you guys, see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So we're back at Meryl's place, and we have a quest for her. Now, the only way you can get this quest is if your friendship with Meryl is at 100% or you have 100% rivalry with her. Um, I went in and kind of just made sure my friendship with her was 100% because I didn't feel like coming back to this later. Um, so, yeah. And also, she has a new outfit um, we got after the quest, and I gave her a new staff. So, it looks very amazing. I like it. <laughs> this happen I know it doesn't help to hear it but this was just a misunderstanding why didn't any of them listen to me all this time I thought I could help them save them but they won't let me will they they'll destroy themselves to escape my help 
You can't help people without their consent. I'm sorry, Meryl. No, I suppose I can't. All the time I've wasted. Maybe... Maybe it's time I stop living for them. My people will kill me if I go back. I'm all alone. What will I do now? Let's see. Whatever you like. Keep studying Elven history. Help the alienage. Um, you know, I don't know. That's... I would say help the alienage. That seemed like a good option. She could keep studying Elven history. Um, or do what she wants. I'm not sure what is the best option for her. Because I don't remember what each of these do. So, I'm actually going to look real quick to see which each of these, uh... They say, um, Meryl home, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's see. If Hawk and Meryl are friends, she believes that she had done her best to serve a people despite her clan that, okay, accepts her decision in Luvian have caused so much trouble. She didn't shatter. Okay. She shatters the Luvian of y'all rivals, I think. Um, let's so move on. Next, for her advice on her future course of action. Hawkins suggests her to do as she pleases, study Luvian history, or help. Elves and Adish. To complete the romance with Meryl, you have to select the special choice stay with me. Okay, we're not romancing her, so... Um, apparently it doesn't really matter what you tell her because it doesn't have any effects later, uh, as far as I know. Um, I say that let her find out what she wants to do. Do what you want with your life. It's up to you. What I want? I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. I suppose I have a lot to think about, don't I? Thank you. All right, and that does it. So, um, next we're going to go talk to Avani. We have a quest for her to do. And if we have enough time after, we're going to um, go see King Adister, which I don't know if I put a mod in to make him look like himself or not. I probably don't. And if I don't, I'm not going to change it because it's, it's pretty late in the game and I don't want to do more mods. Um, I'm going to bring this a better since that's always fun. And let's bring our sister. So yeah, yay. All right. So I, uh, if you wonder why I can get Bethany now, it's probably because I did that console command, and now I'm able to do that just free will now. Um, but yeah, cool. So let's go see Avenue real quick. Let me guess. That's your final answer. Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts. As should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. Well, guys, we got to the keep, and I just had to do this mission because it automatically pops up. How do you do, Your Majesty? I've been better. Manlier too, come to think of it. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look different. Don't we all? I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Huh. Easier said than done. 
We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Um, in a way. Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Olay isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Olay? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Do you really think there's something I can do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. Okay, well that was Alistair. Uh, a few tidbits on what he said I'll explain as I'm walking around, but we're going to go ahead and talk to Aveline real quick. Um... So, no, that that quest triggers as soon as you get into the um, the keep. So that's why I couldn't talk to Avenue and then do it. So that's why it triggered. Anyway, we're going to talk to Avenue real quick. And that's going to be it, I guess. Okay. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just out of hand. Let's see. Night Captain Cullen has heard some troubling things. Such as? That you coddle the men. Give special treatment. Someone has dared. Who? Who accuses me of this? No names given, of course. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. I don't have to see proof. I already believe you. Of course you do. But nobody questions my leadership without a response. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse okay. me of being soft. Not in this lifetime. So I just need to take out one of my companions and put the other one in. Um, so anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Alistair was talking about in um, Orlay. So if you read The Mast Empire, which is a amazing novel, by the way, and it takes place before Inquisition um, and after... It's, I, as, to, as far as what happens during DA2, I think it happens um, probably during DA2 at the same time. I, the timeline on when exactly it happens isn't really cleared up because it doesn't state a date in the book. But within that, within the Mass Empire, um, Gaspar, who you meet in Inquisition, 
starts a civil starts civil war against Selene. Um, and she, so they are they're really struggling to take back uh, the Orle from Gaspar in a way. Um, or Gaspar wants to kind of conquer or take back Ferelden. He wants to start a war practically because he thinks Orle thrives a lot better in the war. Um, Selene does not believe this and throughout that book you get to know more about Gaspard and Selene and Briada who is um, uh, Selene's handmaiden slash uh, spy master slash lover. Um, I, you kind of figure that out if you play Inquisition as well and I don't want to spoil it too much but it leads you into figuring out in Inquisition you have to choose between these three people at one point. And reading this book is kind of like the same thing if you read um, a Stolen, the Stolen Throne and the Calling before you played in, before you played Origins. So it opens up a lot more information for you to make in Inquisition, and I thought it was beautiful because I, um, in Inquisition, I'm I'm not gonna tell you who I want in Inquisition. I'm gonna tell you when we get to the game, but I'm just telling you read those books before you play the game. Um, it doesn't add anything to DA2. There's no book that really does, I don't think. Um, but I think it's a beautiful book. And that's what um, Alistair was talking about. Um, there is also the book Sunder that takes place at the same time as Mass Empire is taking place, if not a little bit before, or a little bit after. Um, and in that, it talks about the Mage Rebellion, how that started, or how it how the Mages came to their conclusion. Um, you, I'll talk about more about that in position as well. But I'm going to get Avalene and we're going to head to, I think, Lotan at night. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So we're at the Gallows. I think this is where the uh, quest for Avalene goes. We're going to go this way. Got me find Donick. Donick uh. will be on this route. Let's see how hard you sweat your men. I'm going up or down. Uh, no, uh, up, 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 up. Up there, come on. The heck, why are my controls not working? Hello? Man, Donnick is getting blasted over there. Don't worry, Donnie, this may hurt a little bit. Man, all y'all just came after me, huh? Y'all left Donnie. That's fine. Oh, snap. Y'all just came out of nowhere. What is this? Your proper. I keep I forgot I had that. Too much of a chameleon, my friend. I didn't expect to find you so deep in bandits. A good day, to be sure. I'll be sore tomorrow, but it was my choice. Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up, casualties are down. It is remarkable, as are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Hawk. Safe travels. That should be sufficient. 
Take that to the Templar. I think Donic and Aveline's rom uh, romance is amazing. Um, especially when you do this, because you get to see that Aveline does not coddle. She does not uh, give special treatment to anyone. It's even her husband. Um, what you guys say, given what happened to you know Wesley, her former husband, her you know deceased husband, the fact that she doesn't coddle and she doesn't you know baby Donick and make, wants to make sure he's safe all the time, but respects the fact that he's a guard that he wants to do his job says a lot about her and how much she values you know his choices and everything and how much it says about her how much she is willing to you know trust people you know it, it says how strong Aveline really is and I think and how strong you know her and Donnick's relationship is I think out of everyone's growth and every I think how stable people are I think Aveline has the best character I, I don't I don't ever dislike Aveline because she, her choices and everything are very strong and you know she's always straightforward and she does what she thinks is best and usually it, it, I agree with every, almost everything she does if not if not everything but we're going to head, head to uh, the gallows and talk to Cutting now so yeah let's go alright guys so we're in the gallows we're about to talk to Cutting and tell him what we found on the lies that apparently Aveline has been coddling her guardsmen so let's just see who's been behind this. Champion, and you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I saw no evidence to support the claims against her. As I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of guard captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Perhaps I can reason with the people who are complaining about her. If they meant to use reason, they would not be anonymous. But the complaints originate in Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but... I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown Hawk, I need to speak to Brennan. Alright. Well, I don't remember if... I honestly don't remember this quest very well. Um, I remember like the first part when we go see Donick, but I don't remember this part. I'm um, going to investigate who was behind the lies, but whatever. I just know somebody's in trouble. They're gonna get a foot up their butt. Okay, guys, we're in Low Town. Uh, got to figure. Oh, we're like right there. I don't, how how did I go from the gallows? Oh wait, the gallows are like by the shore, so it's fine. There's still like stuff over here. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't pick this up. Was I in a rush when I did this? I don't remember. Um. Anyway. Yo. Guardsman, why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Guardsman? It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you, but none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. We need to find him. Guardsman. The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti Ferelden. The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the champion killed. A rally. Against the tyranny of the guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. Return to the barracks. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be there. Oh, for Pete's sake, why do I have to run it all over this stinking place now? 
Alright, can I get the dark down from here? Oh, there's an entrance or something down here. Now I gotta go to dark town? Oh, look, a Samson. Oh. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. Uh-huh. Can I get the dark town? Yep, I can. Okay. I'm gonna see you guys in dark town. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, guys. So we're in dark town. Uh, let's go find where these guys are. The heck? Take what I like. That's what I say. Don't make me hurt you. I'm gonna do it anyway. I haven't even knocked you out, man. Oh. Good thing Varric saw him. I didn't see him at all. Alright. The guards don't get here often enough. So where am I going? Let me see, because I don't want to accidentally go to Iris over here. Okay. Wait, I went. I took the wrong path. Out the way. I'm fond of a little dirt now and then, but this. Was this really necessary? The champion? Here. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw up all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority, foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon! You disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall. Your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No. You shall have less. Ready? Y'all still attacked us? I'm gonna have him take care of him real quick. I'm gonna keep them off her. The little ice. Rejon, please. Oh man, y'all just went down easy, didn't y'all? I don't have that ready yet. I did it. Chalk it, I did Nope. Oh. Almost. Oh. 
You fool. Why would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. Avenue, yeah, your quest is long, girl. Like, what the hell? What's in a chest? Fans of glory. Oh, the tag dash about. But okay. Jevin. I got, got a new thing for, you know, Avity. Let's see, inventory. Let's see, go to Avity. God, it's gone. Oh, her things really need to be updated. I just changed her thing to blue. That's that's a remarkable change. That's so 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 needed. Cause that red was so drabby. Alright. Uh I'm gonna head to I only got like three minutes. So I'm gonna head to uh back to the keep, I suppose, because I have nothing else to do. Alright. Alright guys. So I'm gonna say this before the episode ends. This recording session went so smoothly, like there was hardly any problems on like my last episode. Last episode I had to record and the video was late. This one I only had to maybe record one scene over and it was it, it wasn't a big deal. Alright, so I have to talk to Avalyn. Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Jevon failed before he started. You know this. I do, and he doomed himself. But it smears all of the guard. I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. I'll take it. I need a moment, Hawk, but... There is something else. Come back and talk to me. Um, I have like two minutes, so I can actually probably just do this real quick, so let's see. <laughs> and then he says, he says, I swear I had two when I came in here. Hmm. You know, those stains never came out. You are horrible. Every inch. You love it, big girl. And you owe me for the bottle. Hawk. <laughs> She's not so bad. Except when she is. Did you know I've been dead for seven years? I got word last week. They only just sorted the casualties of Ostagar. The King has offered to reinstate the commission of any surviving officers who will return to Ferelden. And? And what? Uh, what? Does this appeal matter? I thought you were sworn to Caelan. King Alan has apparently become something of a sensation. A champion of hope. Regardless of who has the throne, I served Ferelden. The country survives, even if Caelan didn't. Um, You brought it up. What's your decision? It's been a strange time here in Kirkwall. Do you ever think about that last night at Ostagar? How it happened? I don't mean the betrayal. Everyone knows the signal went up and the flanking charge never came. But that moment when the tower lit and then... The fight just kept going. It was the oddest feeling. Hope answered with... Nothing. I don't like the thought of going out with a whimper, Hawk. Not again. You enjoyed stringing me along too much. I can't keep a straight face for anything. But I wasn't always so sure. Thank you for everything. I have so much because of you. I'm here for you, Hawk. And for myself. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to talk about that old conversation next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, and comment on the video. Share as well. And if you want to join a wolf pack if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys next time on Dragon Age 2.
it'll work back. 